Teapot Lagging here with Nicole and Craig. We've come back to Teapot Tip and I'm actually not looking for a teapot today, I'm looking for a bee, but that's another story. Now let's see what we can find. So it's always really, really interesting to have a wee look around in the areas that the bottle diggers have been in and see what they've left. Now, mm. we wouldn't expect them to take a shoe. <laughs> no. um, and yeah, they are. You know, I think we said this before, finding shoes is a wee bit creepy. It is a bit, isn't it? Yeah, but there's some nice jars and stuff in here. Yeah. They're a wee bit big for us at the minute. Mm -hmm. And they don't really, uh, well, none of them, let's say, are a bead. <laughs> Unless <laughs> no. we know Nicole's looking for uh -huh. a bead. No. Now, but I have seen something here. All right. That looks really cool. Okay. Can you see what it is? Yeah. I is think it... it's glass. Oh, I think it's <laughs> so dusty today. Okay, is it's it really this dry. subject? It is indeed. Okay, right. I'm going to come in a wee bit closer. And as you can see, the sun is uh, okay. shining on us today. Mm -hmm. And we're getting a lot of shadows. Yeah, oh, lovely day. Yeah, apart from that wind and the dust, it's got in my <laughs> eyes. It's all over the place. I don't like dust in my eyes. It's quite painful. <laughs> anyway, uh, mm. focusing back on this, what do you reckon that is? I think... Do you know what? Oh. I think that's a little stopper that was held oh, like that. Oh yeah, it's so, the top of a stopper, perfume stopper. Yeah, for like a perfume bottle or something oh. like that. That's quite cool, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, I'm taking that. Although it's broken, you know, it's uh, a little perfume stopper, even a partial one. <laughs> yeah, but do you know what? With that, we could take a little bit of very, very fine uh, wet dry paper, mm -hmm. smooth that off. You could drill that. That's beautiful. Oh yeah, it's a really yeah. beautiful wee piece of glass. That's a great idea. Yeah, maybe top drill it and then put a wee cap on it, and that would be a lovely pendant. Sounds about right to me. Mm -hmm. Having that. Every time I pass a oh, I was going to say every time I pass a jam jar, and that's the jam jar down there, and the, oh was for this wee Shipham's Pasture. <laughs> and it's just the Shipham's Pasture, but I like Shipham's Pastures. Do you know what the irony of this really is? I really don't like Shipham's Paste. <laughs> <laughs> but the jars are iconic. <laughs> and that one, again, is, 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 is in one piece. It's, <laughs> they're really cool. I think they're really nice wee pieces of glass. Now, let's have a wee look at this jam jar. Okay. That's got a good size. Wait, wait, don't be deceived. I know it looks like I left that Shippen's Pace jar, but it's coming I'm home with me. I'm taking it, I'm taking it. <laughs> Nicole's got it already. Oh, I think this one. Ah. Oh, there's a big crack. Uh -huh. I wonder if that crack goes, it does, it goes all the way through. I'm not sure if you can ah. see inside there. Yeah, yeah. Mm, maybe not, actually. Mm, yeah. Um, but yeah, there's a, there's a crack all the way, all the way around that yeah. one. But what I do think you think? Well, I think we might leave that one here, but we've definitely going to have a couple of jam jars in our Etsy shop and some other new goodies that we uh, we have found here. So For sure, yeah. I mean, we've been finding a fair few of these jam jars in mm -hmm. various locations yeah. and they're just really lovely. Yeah. So we've got some really nice ones that are in good shape, mm -hmm. uh, no cracks and whatnot. And mm -hmm. as, uh, as Nicole says, we're either going to keep them or they're going to end up in the Etsy shop. Oh, I've yeah. just been attacked by a tree. Oh, no. Now we've seen this decanter um, a couple of times since we've been here and we never really stopped long enough to have a wee look at it. It's a really beautiful piece of cut glass. Uh, my kind of heart's torn about this one actually. Should we take it? Shouldn't we take it? We're going to leave that up to you for this week. Um, yeah, sorry, that's a wee bit chicken and out. But I think... It's actually quite heavy. So we're going to leave that here, I think, this time. Now you can tell us in comments if you think that we were mad to have done that and we should really run back here and pick this up as soon as we possibly can. Um, I suppose the same applies for wee items like this as well. It's another, oops, another beautiful thing. That's actually really cool. Just looking at the, uh, the printing on that, I think that's got be transfer where I don't think it's hand painted it might be hand applied I can see some tiny little dots which suggest to me that it was a uh, it's printed rather than painted but yeah we're gonna leave these two objects here and we're gonna get along and see if we can find that beat in the coals
Oh, that's cute actually. No, because you can see the back of the... So this is, it's got a wee barrow. Or maybe that was a pram, this could be a nanny. I wonder, is that a pram? No, it looks like a barrow. If you look at these wee legs there. So I'm speaking to Nicole, but I'm not even sure if Nicole can see me. Oh, she's filming me. <laughs> <laughs> now, I don't think this swan comes from the same piece here. Oh. But if I we look there, so. there's a wee woman uh -huh. and she's pushing a wee barrow All and there's right. birds. I think that's birds. Looks like there's wee birdies on the side of this there. That's really cute. Mm. I don't know what that is. Oh, I, I do actually. That's, I think that's like a, a flamingo or something oh, like that. Yeah. Big long legs, oh, body, yes. knee neck. <laughs> And I don't think that's the next. Do you know what? We could make a hybrid, a chimera. How cool would that be? Yeah. It's this the swan flamingo. A, fl a, sw a, sw a, sw a flamingo? Oh. I'm not sure. Oh, but right. do you see this one? Look, if we turn that around. See, back oh, of the wee woman, a wee right. penny there. Yeah, yeah. Nice wee fancy hat. Uh -huh. yeah. How cute is that? It's that really cute, isn't it? Okay, a wheelbarrow, right. Okay, yeah, so she's just leaning these over wee, there. Do you, do you think these are wee birds? Oh, it looks like fruit to me or Could something. Fruit, Maybe yeah. it's supposed to be fruit. And what's this? All oh, right, it's just somebody standing there, like yeah. Bonnie Prince Charlie. <laughs> yeah, one of one of the lesser interesting pieces here. I think these are, and yeah. you know, hybrid chimera. Uh, <laughs> flawon, flawon, yeah, flawon, yeah, yeah. flawon. I think I might just take the swan. <laughs> yeah, I think that might look quite nice in the frame. Okay, <laughs> don't. So we're heading along to an area that we passed before and uh, we know that there's some cool stuff in that area. So I just saw that. That glass, this is glass as well. That must have been a sign or something. That's very cool. I'm going to take that along. Sorry, I digress. I'm completely sidetracked. Um, so we passed through this area on the way in here. Uh, we just wanted to have a wee look and see what else had been left behind. Um, but we know that there's some really cool stuff uh, just up ahead. Now, I've just turned around a corner. Uh, I'm not sure if it's a metaphorical corner or not. <laughs> and I uh, found Nicole. Hey. Hello. Hello. What do you have there? Uh, I have half a figurine. You have a, uh, yeah, sort of like part of a torso of a figurine. Uh -huh, the lady in yellow. Do you know what I have? No. Now, you need, <laughs> now you're going to need to be very careful how you hold this because it's very sharp. Well, uh, that's quite a heap of bottles, isn't it? It certainly is, yeah, yeah. Already I can see a few things that look potentially interesting in there. Mm -hmm. uh, one of them is this lung tonic. Oh, can you turn that the right way up? It's facing the wrong way. Oh, yeah, that's but, a nice uh, bottle. Yeah. Now, as a person who suffers from asthma, mm -hmm. uh, bottles with things like lung tonic on them, um, yeah, they kind of give me the heebie-jeebies. <laughs> <laughs> no, I've no idea what that was... Uh, what was in that? You know, I think I might try and look that up yeah. and see if we can find out what was in that. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure we can, yeah. According to the patent information published in the British Medical Journal of December 1903, Oldbridge's lung tonic contained balsam of tolu, oil of aniseed, oil of cloves and balsam of aniseed, a compound that, among other things, contained morphine. Obridge's lung tonic was created by Walter Obridge in 1874 in Hull, England. Like other lung tonics, it was marketed as a general cure-all for chest conditions, ranging in severity from mild coughs to bronchitis, asthma and even tuberculosis. That's a pretty bold claim for the late 1800s when the survival rate for TB was extremely low. What else do we see in here? There's a lot, in fact, there's two bottles of lung tonic. There's another wee bottle oh, of lung right. tonic. That one's oh, that one doesn't have it. That a, one's broken. Yeah, so we're going to throw that over there. Okay, right. Now that one is broken, essence of chicory. But this little one, I'm taking that. It's a wee jar. That's a really cute wee jar, isn't it? Yeah, that's a really nice one. So I'm going to take these away here and put them in my teak pile. Let's see what else is here. Wee bottles. Hmm, lovely wee bottle. 
Uh, I'm just going to move these around and when I find something I'll show it to you. I think that's the idea really. We're just <laughs> going to have to have a wee rake through this pile and if there is anything uh, interesting underneath that top layer uh, yeah, yeah, we'll, we'll get a wee look at it. Wee Shippum's jar? Yeah, do you know what? I think we're going to have one of the largest collections of Shippum jars in Europe. <laughs> yeah. Or if not the world. <laughs> Quite nice wee uh, utility bottle. We might get a call from Shippum's yeah. the company at some point asking if we can provide them with uh, some jars. <laughs> What's that you got? Another lung tonic. Lung tonic. Uh -huh. <laughs> so, so few. <laughs> <laughs> so many lung tonic bottles. Mm -hmm. I can see an ammonia bottle in front of me just now. At least I think it says ammonia. No, it doesn't. It says, Ar does that say Arizona? There's a bottle that's just over there. Can you see that? This one? No, no. Come left a wee bit, left a wee bit. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> this is, you know, that game with the grabber. Yeah, this yeah, that's it. Oh. oh, I was hoping that was going to take longer. <laughs> <laughs> what do you reckon that is? Oh, it says, it says Anzora, Reg, registered maybe? Anzora, Anzora. Never heard of that. It's still got, oh, it's still got lots of the label on it. Mm. Tell you what, if you want to pop that up in front of me, mm -hmm. I'll uh, have a wee shot of that mm -hmm. whilst you're um, digging around in the, uh, the pile there. That's a good idea. Kill two birds with one stone, as my gran used to say. Now, I might have to insert a photograph. I'm not sure if you can see that or not. But oh, yeah, right. I don't know what Anzola is. Hmm, I don't know either. Let's well, find out. We shall find out. <laughs> Spoon. We've got cutlery there, a bit more gripe water, oh, right, a broken bottle, California fig syrup, nice wee And there's bottle. of course there's a colander there as well if anybody missed the colander. Yeah, yeah, that's a nice one, we've got one we like could, that. Yeah, I don't think that one's uh, nice of any wee. use anymore. Viral gel. Okay, what is this? Ah, Venos Lightning Cough Cure. Oh, cool. Venos. Mm -hmm. I'll have a look at that. Venos is still a thing, I think. Is it? I'm oh, pretty right. sure it is. Ah. I'm sure when I was a wee boy, I had a bottle of Venos cough syrup, and I'm pretty sure that it did not have an embossed uh, <laughs> cover like this one. I'm not that old, folks. That's <laughs> <No. laughs> swear. There's that viral bottle there. That yeah, 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 just here. That's very cool. <laughs> it's such a nice font on that bottle, isn't it? Yeah, it really is. Yeah, it's a very nice script font. There's a very large beer bottle, actually. Oh no, it's Hall's Wine, wine tonic. tonic. There we go, we wine tonic there. Um, anybody who who's in Scotland will know the name Buckfast. And uh, Buckfast is a, is a tonic wine, so it's a fortified wine. But yeah, there's lots of different uh, tonic wines, and some of these tonic wines were made by monks. Now, Buckfast, I think, is Buckfast Abbey, isn't it? Um, I am not sure. Yeah, maybe. I, 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 think, I think it might be. I think that the uh, the good people, uh, the good monks of uh, Buckfast Abbey, are the ones who produced uh, Buckfast. All right. Hall's wine tonic began as Hall's cocoa wine, a mixture of port and cocaine. The product was introduced in 1888 by Stephen Smith & Co and it was sold as a restorative or fast-acting pick-me-up. It was recommended for convalescence, especially after bouts of flu, and among its other uses, it was supposed to cure sleeplessness, neuralgia, anemia, brain fatigue, physical breakdown and disordered nerves. Cocoa wines were extremely popular and there were many different brands, some contained red wine or brandy, and they differed in the amounts of cocaine that they held. Though from all accounts, it seems they all carried a significant dose of cocaine. Coca wine was no contraband. It was widely available and very popular. Predictably, addiction to these wines became an issue. One famous example is John Pemberton, who became addicted to morphine while recovering from a wound suffered in the American Civil War. 
Pemberton went on to produce his own brand of coca wine, and it did very well until the state of Georgia prohibited the consumption of alcohol. Pemberton's response to this prohibition was to establish a non-alcoholic version of his wine tonic, and he called this new drink Coca-Cola. Each gallon of Coca-Cola contained five ounces of coca leaves, a massive dose. Such days are long behind us now, though the wine that started the trend for cocaine-laced alcohol has been recently reintroduced. Though like modern Coca-Cola, it's now made using coca leaves that have been treated to remove the active ingredient. So how are we doing here? Are we finding anything else interesting? Well, I found uh, another wee jar here, I'll put that there. And another piece jar. Can't get enough ship from jars, just saying. And yeah, yeah. If, you, if you're looking for a wee bottle jar. Oh, got it's that. not a one... Uh, do you know what? I, I, I'm beginning to think that there isn't such a thing. <laughs> there might be. <laughs> there might be, but I don't know. Until I see it, I'm not going to believe it. I'm going to have to look it up on uh, online. Alright. There's another... Uh, is this, oh this is Woodward Scrape yeah. Water. Now huh? I saw a Dinford's there as well. Yeah. Whoa! Oh, I saw that as well. Ah, oh, there it is, yeah. There's a Dinford's uh, Magnesia. So there's a lot of this stuff around, right? Yeah, yeah. You know, hang on. Oh! Ooh. Yeah, so we've got a lot of uh, a lot of sand and dust blowing into my eyes and into the lens here. So I think we can see both of those bottles. Let me just see. Right, so in the front there we've got Dinford's um, Milk and Magnesia, or well, it's not mm -hmm. Milk and Magnesia yeah. correctly, it's, it's a Magnesia. Mm -hmm. But basically the same thing as Philips Milk and Magnesia. Mm -hmm. And I think there's still residue of that in there, that kind yeah. of white stuff. Yeah, yeah. So you would have taken that if you had a heartburn, a bit of an icky tummy. Mm -hmm. Now if you had a kid, or <laughs> an infant that had a bit of an icky tummy, or just really wasn't settling down to snooze, you'd give them that. So we're finding mm -hmm. a lot of kind of household medicines in here as well, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I've got another bottle, it says... Mm, E.G. White Limited, but that's all it says on the side there. So I'll put it on the side so you can maybe see that. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I think I'm going to have to turn the camera at a very odd angle to read that. All right, sorry. Maybe, yeah. <laughs> sorry about that. Okay, like that? there we go. Okay, there Oops. we go. So that's a nice wee embossed bottle. Uh, so yeah, we found a couple of things here. A couple of long, lung tonics. Uh, wee bottles. Wee brown bottle there, still has its lid on it. All right, yeah, yeah, there's quite a lot of these, uh, these around. That one still has liquid in it. Yeah, yeah, don't know what it is. Yeah. I'm not going to leave it Even here. if that is, you know, it might be a tummy cure, but I'm not mm. going to try it. No, no, no. I think no. at this point in time, it's more likely to give me a bad tummy than to help. Very likely, yes. Yeah. Okay, so, do you reckon you're going to be taking anything out of that wee pile there of goodies? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I'm definitely going to take the spoon, I'm going to take the lung tonic, and uh, the uh, the little jam jars, and... Uh, bovril, hmm. bovril, maybe? The bovril jar, that's right, yeah. And a couple of the wee paste jars. Very and I think cool. that's all I'm going to take, and then maybe we can go down that way now. Yeah, let's do that. <laughs> Now this is one of the bigger bottles that was in that pile. I'm really sorely tempted to take it. It's a, it's a kind of nice seafoam blue colour. You can see, I think, that it has ribs there along the, the front face of that bottle. This has the word scrubs written on it here. So that's S-C-R-U-B-B-S. Yeah, so I think you can see that. Now on the other side of the bottle, if we turn that round, Anyway, it says fluid here as well. I think a combination of the word scrubs uh, would suggest to me maybe some kind of detergent and these lines, these kind of, uh, these embossed markings here would suggest to me that this is the kind of bottle that if you were to take a good big swig out of that bottle, it might kill you. things here that I just noticed there's this uh, 
another lung tonic bottle. Now that one is sea foam. Were the other ones sea foam or white? Not sure. There's maybe a couple of things under. Oh, there are some things under here. Look. <laughs> so, so, a pair of wee legs here. Okay, that's something. Let's see. Let's see, if there's something else here. Oh. It's a wee bird. Look at it. Oh, that's very cute. I'm going to put this over here. Oh, that's very cute. And there's some bird song. <laughs> Should I take the bird? I think I'm going to take the bird and then uh, I've already got the swan. So now I've got a bird and a swan. There's something that I left here uh, the last time we were along and it's that little bit of a doll's head. I think it's the torso and neck. So I'll take that as well. <laughs> so I've just found something really bizarre. I really like it. It's very sharp and it's totally impractical. Uh, but it's that shoe. It's a ceramic shoe. <laughs> Not quite sure what that's for. Okay, let's grab that little bit of doll. I um, have to take this wee Shippum's jar as well. That's the wee bit of doll that I was talking about. That's the Shippum's jar. We'll take them. Now, isn't that the coolest thing? A toothbrush. Now, we've got two, so I think about time to make a wee kind of shadow frame art. Or maybe we'll just uh, try and keep collecting more toothbrushes. So another thing right next to you. I'll put that here. To me, it kind of reminds me like a, it looks like the top of maybe a handheld razor or something like that. I'm not sure. That would be really funny. Two bathroom related items. We just need that wee Odol mouthwash bottle. Uh, and we've got a shadow frame. That'd be cool. Maybe we'll do that on our new channel, Crafting with Scottish Mudlarking. Now, if you haven't checked out our new channel, go check that out. The link is in the description. Now that bottle looks kind of half familiar, but I'm not sure. I think it's green and we have seen an ice cream bottle like this before. So I'm just going to move this over and I think it is, yeah. It's this uh, essence of coffee and chicory again. But this is the one in the really cool green bottle. I'm not sure if we already have one of those packed. So I'll take this along with me for the minute. And I'll also swing by this really cool... A uh, Heinz bottle. And the old Heinz bottles were really cool. They had some really cute designs. I'll leave that for the minute though. But I'll take this. Now I've been scanning this area because we set up here the very first time we came and uh, we did a little roundup and I kind of thought maybe this is where I lost my little terracotta coloured bead. I you never going to believe this? I found a bead. <laughs> it's like the, the search for the bead led me to this bead. Now you see that bead there? Tiny wee thing. I'm going to pick it up. That is really cool. I am very happy with that. It's a lovely little green bead. Now, uh, well, maybe we can make some jewellery with this. Who knows? I'm gonna definitely going to take this and uh, this just might be my favourite find of the day. So what do you make of that then? This is, I think, oh. well, there's something written on that. It looks like it just says black. Oh, yeah, it does. It, does, it, mm -hmm. it doesn't say anything else. It has yeah. these mm -hmm. markings on the bottom. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It has uh, a screw lid, though. It does. It's a big screw lid. Yeah. Oh, Glasgow, oh, did you see? Oh, yeah, black Glasgow. Glasgow. Black mm. Glasgow. So mm. I think we might be able to find out what that is. Oh, we might pull, be, pull yeah. Pull that to the side. Mm -hmm. It's quite a thick, really heavy bottle. Yeah, yeah. Quite cool. Nice Oh, 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 yeah. It's like a sandstorm here. <laughs> really bad. Mm -hmm. Okay, I hope the camera survives. I mean, uh, my yeah. eyes, I'll give them a good rub, but the camera, <laughs> hmm, not so much. Uh, nice wee shippums jar. Yeah, lovely wee shape that. 
And you found a doll part. Well, so. I found it again. All oh, right. <laughs> if I'm honest, you don't think that's a doll's foot, do you? <laughs> no, definitely not. No. So this is the neck, and there's a tiny wee bit of the lip still left, and the wee chin there. So is this? Are we looking at a profile here? The chin's this side, so the nose would have been here, or do you think that this is the face? No, side? this is this is the face side. There's right. a wee bit of red here. That's the the lip. There's the chin. Is right there. Okay. So that's really cute. I'm just going to say that's uh -huh. an oddly shaped head. But yeah, yeah, anyway, yeah. anyway. <laughs> uh, it is a doll. And you found a shoe. <laughs> found a shoe, yeah. Mm, okay. Yeah. Don't right. often find shoes. Not of no. that sort. We no. find lots of the leather ones falling apart that's and stuff. That's very true, yeah, yeah. But yeah, I think your star find. You just uh -huh. popped down there by yeah. the Shippham's uh -huh. uh, yeah, just jar there. And uh, uh, it's that glass bead. Yeah, I was looking for that other bead. And believe it or not, I found that bead. And it looks like it's been in a fire. So that's probably one of my favourite finds for today. <laughs> Do you know what though? I think mm -hmm. it's a nicer bead. Yeah. It's definitely a nicer bead than the one that we lost. Yeah. And I'm not just saying that, folks. <laughs> no, but seriously, I do think that's a much nicer bead. It's a beautiful yeah. kind of green yeah, like glass jade. bead. Yeah, yeah very uh -huh. nice. That is very nice, yeah. So I'm very happy with that. And uh, was the uh, doll face and the wee chip and star? I think yeah. those uh, were going to be the pieces that we'll take. Yeah, yeah, I think so. I think we'll leave this. Mm -hmm. I'll do a wee bit of research on that. Mm -hmm. And you know, if I find out it's desperately interesting, I'll come running back along <laughs> and I'll see yeah. if I can find it again. Okay. Okay, let's have those bits then. Yeah. I just scrape here a bit. Don't worry if we find something. Lots of broken things here. a bottle in there. Can you see it? What do you reckon it is? Lung tonic, possibly? Let's see. Ah, no it's not. It's a smallish bottle. Um, I'll put it over here. Ah, ah it's got emulsion. Leave it. I just found the bead. Yeah, this is the weirdest <laughs> thing. Um, I was about to film um, a little section as a little plug for our um, Sunday video on the other channel. Yeah. And then Nicole looked down. She just lost all interest in what I was trying <laughs> to get filmed. I can't imagine why. Just completely lost interest and Aww. just looked up at me and said, oh, there's my bead. Yeah. And it is, I think that is the one, I isn't it? So, it kind of yeah. looks well, like yeah, it. it. It really looks like it. Yeah, it's the bigger one that I've lost and it was kind of in this area, so. Okay, well, you can have that back. Yeah. Put it somewhere special this yeah, time. I've got a pouch now. Uh, I'm going to grab this wee jar. Oh, that's very cute. Very cool. And I'm going to nip over and we'll see what Nicole's found. I found this really cool wee jar. What Ooh. did you find? Oh, I found this. That's very cool. I hate to say this, but you know, there is a wee bit of a, a wee bit of an unpleasant quality to this object. Is Do you it? want to maybe turn it around? Oh, yeah. Uh-huh. Sadly. Yeah, that's the unpleasant part. Yeah. But let's let's hide that again because okay. the front's really yeah. nice. <laughs> it is really nice and I was really hoping that we could cut that down. I think I'm going to take it anyway and you could maybe give it a try and see if we can make another trinket dish for Etsy shop. So this one says, trademark uh, T. Denny Ford and Son Limited, registered Russell Street, Plymouth. Very cool. Mm -hmm. It's That's a really nice. nice print on the front of that jar, yeah, isn't it? it well, really that would have been a bottle, wouldn't it? You yeah. can see by the top here yeah, that yeah. that would have been a, mm -hmm. that would have been a bottle. Yeah, yeah. It's got a nice uh, print here from the uh, makers of the the actual bottle yeah. as well. That might uh, be Dalton. I'm not sure. But that's oh. very cool. We can maybe mm -hmm. look that up because we have oh. the company name, we have the street in mm -hmm. Plymouth. Um, so yeah. Yeah. We've got a fair chance of being able to tell you what was in that. Yeah. Um, maybe less of a chance of cutting it down without uh, the whole thing shattering. But yeah, be. let's take that along and we'll see what we can do with it. Yeah, that's very cool, isn't it? Well, we're kind of heading towards that time of the day uh, where I start talking about heading back to the car. And I think, uh, I think that's basically what we're about to do. 
But I just saw this little uh, this little pile. I'm sure I've seen it before. Um, and there's a there's a tiny wee bottle in here, and I think that's such a cute wee bottle. So I think I'm going to take that. And I'm going to have a wee look at this one. This is a crack in it. This brown brown glass bottle there. So we'll leave that. Nothing on the bottom of that one. I think it says W on the bottom. Yeah, that looks like a W to me. Can you see that? Yeah. No idea what that is. This wee bottle doesn't have anything on it, but it has one of those lids that tells me it's quite an old bottle. Um, it looks to me like it was uh, mould made. I can see seam here as well. Oh, and there's even some embossed writing on the bottom. So maybe we'll get a chance to look and see what that embossed writing says. But I'm going to get back along, um, catch up with Nicole, see what she's been finding. We'll take a wee look at the three favourite things that we found today, and then we'll go back along to the car. Well, the birds are singing, the sun's setting. Well, not really, it's still summer, yeah. Uh, very, very long days in Scotland, very, very, very long days. Uh, but yeah, as we're heading off back to the car, that's us done for the day. I thought we would just take a wee look at our three favourite finds. And as usual, I'm going to ask Nicole to kick off. Oh, thank you. Okay, so my first favourite find is this uh, partial hot air balloon. And it's a uh, dirigible. A dirigible? <laughs> That's okay. it, it's a fancy word for a hot air balloon. <laughs> All right. It's, it's really cute and uh, I don't know, maybe it was in a child's room. I just find it uh, kind of really cute. So. It's really sweet, full yeah. of whimsy and fantasy. Yeah. You know, the idea, around the world in 80 days, uh -huh. <laughs> sailing away <laughs> into some unknown place in a hot air balloon. Very cool. Yeah, yeah. Another cute wee item is this... Uh, little chick there that I found and uh, it might have been a salt shake or a pepper shake or something but it's also really cute so yeah I'm going for the cute items today I see that yeah <laughs> is it a chick is it a penguin I think it's oh, a chick I isn't think it it's a chick, yeah. I'm, sorry, I'm just thinking of Dominic Cumberbatch and a penguin a penguin <laughs> a penguin <laughs> <laughs> yeah. sorry uh, we shouldn't we shouldn't uh, we shouldn't mention such things yeah Dominic Cumberbatch for anybody who doesn't know can't say penguin Benedict it's ben Benedict Cumberbatch <laughs> who's Dominic Cumberbatch I have no idea okay okay the third one that is actually that teapot and I really love it and uh, yeah well what, what else is there to say about the teapot it's cute it says good morning and breakfast and all that so yeah that's my third favorite find what are I your favorite finds? I actually have one more thing to add that we can say about the teapot uh -huh. wish it had a handle oh yeah okay that's true but uh, you know at, at least it's got the lid so that's it does nice. have the lid that's really yeah, awesome yeah, it's yeah. a very cool find might be able to fashion a lid uh, or a handle out of milliput that's that's an excellent idea i think mm -hmm. so my three favorite finds mm -hmm. well one i think it's got to be this and that's just because today we found all three of the kinds that we're aware of the, the kinds of essence of coffee and chicory these uh <laughs> coffee syrup items mm -hmm. we found three different brands and I'd hoped to find the three different brands, and we did that today. Ha. And I really like these green bottles. That's a very cool find. Yeah. Second favourite find is this glass advertising. So we can see there that there's a layer of white glass, or clear glass rather, and there's a very thin layer, either glass or paint, but I think it's a very fine layer of glass that's mm. been fused there, and then it's been etched out. Not exactly sure how it's been etched out. Could have been acid, could have been any number of different uh, ways. Yeah. But this would have been an advertisement, or an advertisement, Advertisement, even, <laughs> um, and maybe having light shone through that, or maybe just in a in a shop window, so the light would shine on it and make the advert really dramatic. Yeah, I think that looks lovely. It's really cool, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Third favorite find, or third and last. It's not really a favourite find, it's just that I only just found this. <laughs> and I think it's quite cool because it has these these lines. I'm not sure if they're measures, they're certainly not tablespoons or teaspoons, they're more like quarter cups. Okay. Um, it's quite, it's not a small bottle, that's my hand, mm -hmm. it's, it's not tiny. Mm -hmm. um, so I don't know exactly what these measures would have been. But my guess is that this would have been a bottle that had uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven or eight mm -hmm. Um, doses or uh, whatever it was yeah. of whatever it contained. Maybe we'll try and find that out, I don't know. <laughs> so, pretty cool. Yeah, did we yeah. miss anything out that you thought was a favourite find? Let us know in the comments. <laughs> Well, it's been another fantastic day here at Teapot Tip, and we've even got a wee teapot to take away with us. Couldn't ask for anything more than that. Only remains for me to say, 
Thank you so much for watching, liking and commenting on the videos. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please do take a second to subscribe to the channel. Last but not least, a huge thanks to everyone who's helped support this channel through Etsy and through Kofi. Anyone who's swung by Etsy and picked up a wee treat for themselves or anybody who's swung by Kofi, bought us a Kofi or bought some music even, it all really helps us keep going. So thank you all so much for that. We'll see you next time. Thank you.